Step eight of the Tech Savvy Admin course is maybe a little different than I once anticipated. So for example, at first I called step eight, get your head in the clouds. And it was all about doing cloud-based saving, things like Dropbox, JustBox, uh, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive from Microsoft. So places to save files on the web, it became pretty, that was a new trend at the time that I created this course long ago. However, since then, you know, pretty much everybody in almost every type of system is using a cloud drive of some kind. Most schools are using Google Drive to, sh to share their documents or OneDrive, uh, even, you know, if they're using uh, an Apple-based device, there's a variety of places that you can save uh, all of your stuff. So this kind of we, I changed it around a little bit, and now I call it creating a curation station. And really, the, the general concept about this is that we have so many websites. For example, I've just thrown at least 20 websites at you over the course of this, um, of this module. So you probably have a lot of different resources, some that you really want to save for later, some that you weren't able to really dig into now, some that you were, thought were awesome and you want to redo that. So these are resources that can help you save some of your awesome websites and tools that you've seen. Now, the one I've been using for this course is one called Wakelet. And it is education, uh, it's for education, by education. So you can create a free account I would recommend using your Office 365 or Google account if you're a Google school teacher. I'm not sure about Apple if they, they use Apple education accounts. If they're not, they, they probably will. But this is a great uh, curation uh, tool uh, to, to save some of your uh, great websites and ideas. And so, for example, if you wanted to, uh, let me just bring up this page here. If I wanted to save this website, uh, I can put a Wakelet extension up here, just click this Wakelet extension and then put this website wherever I want it. That's how, as one way it can be really easy to use. But again, I won't dig too deep into just Wakelet and, and let you kind of explore that on your own. But I love Wakelet because it allows you to share a lot of different websites in a variety of different ways. You can see that this is done in kind of a, a board uh, way, much like Pinterest. Um, but there's a variety of other tools. But these are really specific to education. So Wakelet is one of my favorites. It's one that I think has gotten a lot of um, positive reviews from educators uh, of all stripes. So it's really awesome for sharing, uh, collecting with others. You can create group collections. Um, so fantastic resource. And hopefully, as you've used it throughout this course, you've, uh, you can appreciate it. Another one that's out there is one called Pocket. This one's a little more linear. It's a little leaner and cleaner, but you can see uh, you're going to, I haven't done a lot with this one, but you can start creating um, a variety of different lists, which would be groupings. Uh, and you can collect those, you know, your favorite websites using Pocket. Again, it'll have one of these, what are called extensions up here that you could place and just on the fly add a new uh, web address or extension. You know, when you click um, when you click adding, you just basically are putting the website in there and hitting save, and it'll organize it. Uh, you can organize it wherever you want to. So, uh, Pocket is a great uh, tool. I know um, Eric Kurtz is one of the people I follow a lot. He's a big fan of Pocket, and uh, you know, saves things uh, all the time with that. So, a great curation tool. Symbaloo uh, has been around for quite some time. Uh, and this one is a nice one as well. And let me just show you what uh, an example of a Symbaloo would look like. So this will create kind of an icon-based look and feel. And again, you can add uh, tiles to this. I know a lot of schools have been using this. This one's been around for a while. It's a little busy over here with uh, the advertising. Um, you know, hey, they've got to they've got to somehow make money on their site but uh, it is, does get a little busy with that. But uh, again, you can create a whole bunch of mixes, uh, what they call web mixes of different, um, you know, sharing links. So uh, very nice uh, site. And again, for especially younger learners, it's a really nice uh, 
overview and, and template to have younger kids just be able to click on a link uh, to go to. So Symbaloo is a, is a really solid one as well. It's been around for quite some time. Cube is, um, is a Canadian company has developed this one, Cube for Teachers. Again, it's, it's a freebie. Again, uh, very lean and clean. It allows you to add um, extra extensions to kind of keep you organized, but uh, a very nice, clean um, interface. There's not a lot of buzzers and whistles. They've really kind of, again, stripped it down. So it's really about sharing resources and adding resources is super easy. They do have an extension as well that you can on the fly add things. So um, again, I like it if you really want just like a lean and clean, simple environment that's not going to have a bunch of buzzers and whistles to it uh, that'll create a nice uh, user interface interface for you. So just that one. And um, I guess that rounds things out. Symbaloo Pocket and Wakelet are my favorites. Again, Wakelet, as, as it stands right now, is, has been one of my tried and true. But all of these, I think you can see, are different and they have a unique uh, setting to them that uh, you know that may lend itself to kind of your personal saving style. So step eight is uh, the curation station.